Well, um, thank you guys so much for coming on to our Zoom. Um, we are so like honored that you got on with us and that you guys are gonna spend a little bit of time pouring out your incredible wisdom. Um, anytime I'm around you, Stephanie, you just always have so much wisdom flowing out of your mouth about this business. And so I've, it's been always such an honor uh, to hang out with you on our little girls trips and just listen to you talk. So anyways, um, I'm just thrilled to have you guys here and um, I can't wait to hear what you have to offer. And I know that you and I talked on the phone earlier and you said that you've got like a lot of stuff in your heart right now that you guys can share. So I just want to give you guys the floor and take over because everyone knows who you are. We've been talking a lot about you guys and uh, we cool. just can't wait to do that. So here we go. Okay. So a quick question. Is this all, all team? So it's distributor all the way up? Yep. It's anyone and everyone. Okay, so it just gives me a good idea. So it will relate to every single one of you. So um, I'm excited to be on with all you guys. Jill has it so we can see all of your, your beautiful faces tonight. So um, I'm excited that I get to share from my heart a little bit over the last couple of days. Um, it's cool that Rachel just said, um, I love hearing your guys' wisdom because um, Joel has always prayed for wisdom and he's just really good with words and so i'm always like oh will you pray extra for me because i want to be wise that's what i want too so um thank you rachel because that made me feel great and i felt yesterday that i had it and i was pouring out and it was coming from from the right place so um yesterday we had a training and what's crazy is i haven't even got to talk to joel about everything that i had taken in over the last couple of days and we kind of opened up a little bit and said, you know, I was going to share something, but what I want Joel, I'm going to have Joel talk and then I'll get into some things, but um, Joel share with them. And he wasn't even at the, I get to conference. So Rachel, this is going to like blow your mind too. It's so awesome. So just share what we did yesterday. Uh, so basically we started out and Steph really wanted to talk to people about, um, you know, getting journals and, and doing stuff like that. And I said, you know, the best way to open a journal, and this is something that Cindy puts on the inside of every single journal that she has. So God, open, open the eyes of my heart. So I thought that was awesome. So I did say that, and then Joel kind of piped in on, on this. So the, the best thing about beginning your day, um, what you should be doing is if you're journaling, if you're a journaler, I am not a journaler, I try and then it's like, oh, where did the year go? I wrote two pages. Um, but when you're starting your journal out every single day, start the beginning with something that you're thankful for. Start with gratitude. Um, same thing with, with my prayer life. The first thing I do is I start thanking God for everything I can possibly imagine before I start saying anything else because it says, Go before his gates with thanksgiving. Come to him with thanks. And I, I think with a heart of gratitude, what it actually does is it allows you to receive more than you would possibly be able to if you didn't. People that have a grateful heart are people that are excited, that are thankful, that people want to be around. People that don't have a heart of gratitude seem to be closed off and they actually push people away. Uh, people can sense it. It's, it's one of those things where if you start your day out on the right foot, you'll always be a step ahead. If you're starting out your day, like say you wake up late, we were talking about this earlier today, you wake up late, you always feel like you're trying to catch up throughout the entire day and you never get caught up and then you go to bed and you're like, well, that was lame. If you start your day out with gratitude, everything just falls into place after that. And that's what's so amazing about it. So if you're a journaler, make sure that the number one thing that you do every single day when you start your journal is start it out with something that you're grateful for. And then same thing with your prayer life. You know, it, it even says in the Bible, when you're beginning to pray, you should always pray with a heart of thankfulness first, because that is what God wants to hear first. And then he has the ability to answer everything else above and beyond that. So he started the day. Uh -oh. with, the, with being the gratitude and the thankful. So um, it just is going to kind of flow into what I want to talk to you guys about. So I think this is, this is awesome. So um, 
we need to be focused in what we do every day. So I want you to, we talk about maybe having that power hour, but what we're going to do for you guys tonight is we're going to talk, we're going to, we're going to be so America that an hour is not good enough. Guess what? We're going to the power half hour. Go, go away. You're taking my thing. So I want you to do this. So a half hour can determine the difference between success and failure. And that sounds so simple, but really the beauty is that any of you can do this, right? So all you need is to do this. And I might just send you over the notes because I talk a little bit fast. I'll try to, to kind of go slow so you can take some notes, but um, accept the idea, have a clear sense of your God-given purpose, examine your activity patterns, and then sensitize, sensitize yourself to time choices, and then start taking advantage of the power of the half hour. So we're gonna kind of condense that down into your half hour. So what would that look like? First, start your morning off with, you know, don't pick up that phone right away. Really go into being thankful, you know, did, do that. Then maybe go into, into Facebook. I don't know. How many of you pick up your phone first thing in the morning? Raise your hand. Yeah. And how is that the most tragical way to start your day? I mean, I try and stay away from Facebook as long as I possibly can. Like, if you guys notice, the first thing that I post in the morning is the daily scripture and the devotional. I try not to even look at anything. I just try and post and then put my phone back down and go from there. So make sure that you're guarding that time and guarding your mind because the moment that you pick up that phone, it's almost like tragedy happens and it keeps happening the rest of the day. So starting out with that half hour of purpose really, really helps set tone for the rest of the day as well. So we're going to be focused and not get caught up into other things. So you may not even see me going on even some of my friends and different things and liking all their stuff because I'm so in my lane of what I do um, that sometimes people don't even realize that I'm in and out. I don't even realize that was drama about the uh, presidency because I just don't look at it. I just know what I need to do and I have my set schedule. So I can just knock things out in a half hour into an hour, an hour. But I think even if you commit to a half hour a day, or even if you're just starting, you're like, whoa, that seems like so much. Give yourself a half hour a week then. Start somewhere, but let's start doing those things. Um, it's up to you. So if you accept the fact that God creates us to be agents of transformation and realize that every day he gives us opportunities to change the world in little but meaningful ways, then that half hour you have to work with can produce great outcomes, right? Um, bringing positive transfer, transformation is never easy and rarely quick, but it's always, always satisfying. You just have to act. So with this business, we're all going to be grateful, have the, our hearts in the right place. And I know you do because you're in this to help people, right? And how do we do that? We take the action to do that every day. So the best thing I can say is the way that we get paid to in this business is by gathering loyal customers and gathering distributors. That is 80% of what we should be working on. And that doesn't mean that's money driven necessarily, that's helping. I know I'm a great servant and I'm really good at asking questions and learning and like, okay, well, what is it that you're, you're doing? I really wanna help you. And people sense that and that excitement. Uh, before you go on, tell people about what happens as soon as they get a post and somebody likes it and they want to order hair, skin, and nails. Okay. Oh, so, this, that, so this comes into helping people. Okay, so this is this is great. You all probably do it. You may post, and I'm guilty too. It's okay. Um, like a hair, skin, and nail product tester or something, right? And we post, and maybe somebody mess messages us or they like it, and you're following up with them, and they're like, "Yes, I want to. I want to go ahead and order." So we get their information. And we're so excited. We're just like, oh my gosh, we got their credit card information. We enter them in the computer as fast as we can. And we don't even offer anything else. We don't ask any other questions. We're just so excited that we got a loyal customer. I mean, is anybody else like that? Like, I hope that <laughs> I'm not crazy. Oh my God, we'll put it in quick before they change their mind. <laughs> I mean, even now, I still do that, but. Um, you know, we want to get their information. This is something that I, I know I can help you with is um, get their information. You know they're going to order. I just want to have yeah. everyone mute your audio really fast because some of you guys are unmuting yourselves. Can you please mute your videos and audio so then we can just hear Joel and Stephanie? Okay, thank you. All right, keep going. <laughs> okay, so um, 
so once you get their information, what I also, because we don't want to scare them away either, or give them too much information, but what I do is there's this special package that we have right now. You may not even know that we have this because we haven't even shared that with them. So let's not forget to share the other stuff that we have. Um, and also don't forget to mention about being a distributor maybe because what a great thing to say is, you know, have you ever thought about maybe using our product and actually getting paid to use your own product? So I'm really good at doing that. I, I tend to be more distributor driven than loyal customer driven. So that's some things that I do. Um, and as of lately, well, I'm, I'm a um, people like hands on person. So we've been doing a lot of parties. And I think we've just had such huge success because I'm excited. I know what's coming. I know that if I know how to help somebody, what's your goals, weight loss, tightening, uh, maybe it's energy. What are those things that I'm going to get them into a package or get them more than just one product because I'm right there guiding them. And you guys, were, even if you're a brand new distributor, you are an expert. Understand that. I am telling you right now, you are an expert. You just have to kind of ask and you'll start to learn all about these products. So um, at these parties, I've been having two to three a week. We've been having anywhere from seven to a thousand BV parties, orders. You do two to three of those a week. It's 10,000 BV coming into your business. Do you think that's worth getting in front of a few people? I would think everybody's head would be going up and down. So how do we get in front of people? right? So that's the thing is, Stephanie, you're always getting in front of people. I am so, I just know that if I get in front of people, they're going to join as a customer, join as a distributor. I am just so passionate about the product. So the first thing that you want to do is let's not even call it a wrap party. Let's call it a sample event. Hey, I'm so excited. I got some amazing samples. You know, you and your friends are going to get some free samples to try. And it's only going to take about 45 minutes to an hour. Because we all can, you know, come and show up for a friend for 45 minutes to an hour. And I haven't even said anything about trying the wrap for $25. Um, so now what happens, can you run up and get, actually, it's probably my party bag, the little sample. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sample the greens because you guys all have the greens, right? Uh, the greens choose, and you can even, to save yourself some money, because I know money sometimes can be tight, is cut up the greens in half. Defining gel. I love that we got the sugar scrub now in the lotion because we can even sample those. And then that is just something that people are coming to. And what happens is I'm talking about the product and people are shaking their heads and they want stuff. We just have to get in front of them, right? So that's the idea is get them to the party. Um, and then what's crazy is I just make up these little packages. I think you guys can see that. What's in here is a vital pack, a couple greens, wow, and greens chew. And I just say, you know what? Thank you so much for being a customer tonight. You're going to get one of these sample packages. So what Joel said is having a thankful heart, right? Being thankful. If we give, our giving, giving, people want to thank you more. I heard that with Cindy tonight. If, if, we're, um, if somebody's thanking you because you did something, you want to give to them, right? So what's crazy is, I'm giving and people feel led that they're like, well, I want to help her too. So this is just a simple way. I don't post that, come join and be a loyal customer and get this. But there, especially the holidays, I think this has just been such a great thing is I'm just giving them a couple extra little samples and they're like, this is so amazing. So you're going to get there. You're going to get higher BV parties because people want more than one product, right? We want to help them. So, uh, what we've been doing is I, I pull out the catalog and then I tell them, okay, if there's things that you like, star them because we have amazing packages right now, which we do, right? Thermal Fit Fat Fighters, 40. To really get an idea so I can help package them. And I tell them, okay, you guys, when I joined, I was looking to lose some weight and tighten up. And I asked the girl, well, what did you do? You had amazing results. She said the skinny pack. So I said, okay, well, I want to order the skinny pack too. And so I lost 13 pounds. So I shared what I used and I told them that. And then I say, you know, if you really want to go for it, so let's be real. People really want to lose weight, tighten up. They probably don't want, just want fat fighters, right? Like 
Let's get you on the system. Let's really get you going. We've got the cleanse, the thermal fit, the greens and the wraps. And now maybe that second month you fall in love with the greens or we can kind of change it into what you want. So don't be afraid to tell them that because we don't want to put a limit on what they have because it's amazing how people can just fish out money, I don't know, for things that they want that they don't necessarily need, right? So that's been working really good for us. Um, uh, what else did I do after that? I kind of lost track because it's a little off of what I did yesterday. But um, so try to get in front of those parties. Try to go to maybe your old loyal customers, old distributors, see if they just want to do a, do a sample party that way. And then really when you enroll a new distributor, this should be their first thing is let's get a sample event for you. Four to six people, doesn't need to be huge, but that's generally what we get and everybody ends up signing up, you guys. It's like probably 90% sign up rate when I'm in front of them. So the power is, is getting in front of them and then we're booking parties and signing those distributors at the parties and then what are we doing that following week another party? So you've created that momentum. And you guys, you know what's coming, right? You all know what's coming. You guys January should, 1st. You should be like jumping out of your skin. I have been in this for seven and a half years and I love this time of year. I am so passionate. I am so like convinced. Like you gotta get in right now. You gotta join right now because you wanna be in front of this wave. So. Get your chicken list out and call everybody and say, this is the perfect time. There's Christmas cash. People are going to want to lose weight. They're going to want to order fat fighters. This is a perfect time to jump in, learn, and get on those videos, and you're going to be ready for what's coming in January. And conference is going to be here. So I sign people this time of the year more so than usually the beginning of the year. It's just because I'm so passionate about it. I've seen it year after year. So you are all going to be, like, after the Zoom, like – lit on fire and want everybody to do this right because it's coming it's huge it's it's there um so these are some action steps that i want you to take i, I want you to really like i said be focused in that 30 minutes commit commit now just do it okay um i know again how i get paid customers and distributors and then we just teach them as they come i don't teach you everything until you get in so I post in Facebook and Instagram, right? If you're posting one or twice, a time, that's not enough. You've got to do more. And the reason why is people are watching right now. They're looking for sales. They're looking to make some extra money. So you've got to get yourself out there. Um, what I love is some people have left the company, and that's good. That's okay. It's making room for you to rise up, and I love that. And what's awesome, awesome is just take a minute and think. Do you really see before and after pictures right now or anything about business or product? I hardly see it at all. So I am going to capitalize that and I'm going to put it out there because I'm going to get just customers and distributors. So start doing more of that. Don't overthink, just do it. Okay. The more that you have it out there, the more people are like, Oh, I, I think I remember Rachel posting about that fact. want to make sure you're doing that. Um, Ileana, the, the top recruiter for distributors last month, I got to spend some time with her. She's from Vegas and she's a sweet girl, super young. And I'm like, okay, what are you doing to get all these distributors? And I just went on. She's very consistent. She shows product before and afters and she incorporates the business into, into those posts. So nothing new. I think we just got paralyzed or something. I don't know what happened. And you got to do that. Another thing I want you to take a minute to just think about is what pops up. And if you guys, I don't know, see this pops up on your Facebook first. You guys know what pops up first. Does anybody want to unmute and answer that? Videos. Yes. Okay. I see it on the side. So why aren't we all doing videos? Right? That's mm -hmm. something that it's uncomfortable. Cindy Pentecost did an amazing last couple days and she was like, this is so uncomfortable for me, but I want you to know this is uncomfortable for me too. But what's more so is being uncomfortable where I was not having money and wondering how am I going to, how am I going to make it? That was my statement. I'm, I'm more like, yeah, being poor was even more uncomfortable and sucked even more. So uh, I'd rather make videos and be rich and call it a day. <laughs> 
So we're all going to be <clears throat> uncomfortable. And you guys, it's never going to change. There's going to be things that happen in our life that we're always going to be uncomfortable. And that's good. That means you're growing. And that's the most perfect thing that I can say from that. So we're going to start doing more of, more of those. Um, so I check my messages. I follow up with people. Um, and you got to have your number. So like I said, um, examine your activity patterns. So do you know how many people that you want to sign each month? You guys really know. Do you know how much money you want to make per month? So start writing some of those down. And I know my number is 10. So those are the things that I go after. And I break it up into each week. So if I average two to three distributors a week, uh, that should give me my 10. So I have to do a lot of action, right? It's not like they fall from the sky from, for me. I promise you. I am one of the leaders that I have to work. There's people that I, I swear they're just like this. And they fall to that, but I don't know. But I've always had to work. Nothing's ever come easy to me. And that's why I know you all can be right where I am. That's what God has placed for me is my test is my testimony for you. So you are all going to be a black diamond, which gets me super excited. Um, rap parties. So you want to book the rap parties. Um, you want to text and call people. All the, the worst case scenarios are going to say no, and I'd rather have somebody say no than not give them those, that opportunity. Um, and then if you have it, be a product of the product, right? Like people are going to ask you, what do you use? So I'm very passionate about the greens and the cleanse, um, so many other products that we have. So make sure that you're doing this. If you're like, you know, I'm a new distributor. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's okay. Your first step is taking those products, and you only need a couple weeks before you're even, even a week to get some how many of you guys use before and after pictures? How many of you like using other people's testimonies? How many of you know that your before and after picture and your testimony will sign up more people than people that you don't know? We found that out really quickly because of the fact that when we started, there wasn't a bunch of before and after pictures. So we had to make our own. Um, I, I think that's what's so amazing about this is coming in brand new you can use other people's stuff, but that's not where you're supposed to stay. You are supposed to use these products to get your own results, to be your own product of the product, because that's what gives you the drive and the excitement level and the conviction of all the products because you're using them and they're changing your life. Than the business probably isn't either. So make sure that you're diving into these products and having some great results and documenting them so that you can share them with people because people are going to look at somebody else's photos and then they're going to look at you and go, well, what are your results? And you're like, um, yeah, well, um, it's much easier if you can just whip out your phone and show them and then all of a sudden it's like a magic button and they sign up automatically. I don't know why it happens. It just happens that way. Yep. Um, and then book some expos. That's really how I started. So I blitzed with no um, coupon, you guys. I was scared to talk about uncomfortable. I was scared to death. Dinosaurs over here. Just and standing. so people are like, I am so scared to blitz. I was like, try blitzing without a coupon. Like, that's scary, guys. You have everything that we need now. Um, and one of the girls, I thought this was just genius. She's like, oh, my gosh, I could not blitz. I just couldn't get over it. She ordered the Wow Blitz card and stapled a packet of the Wow on there and gave it out as samples. You guys are going to be around a lot of people this holiday season, right? You're out Christmas shopping. You're out wherever. Again, if you give something to someone, they're going to want to give something back. So, you know, they might want to give you their Facebook. Like, let's stay connected. I really want to see your before and after picture. You don't need to do it right now, but I really want to see that. So I thought... I have never ordered the Wow Blitz cards, and now I've got them on order because I thought that's just great because sometimes people are just so scared. So no to do that. Um, and then the Expo. So uh, here in Michigan, this is the craziest thing, is we had um, a training yesterday and a couple days ago. There were some girls that did an Expo right in <laughs> Michigan, and you guys know this. All three Black Diamonds are in Michigan, and you would think everybody would know about It Works. Well, they signed three distributor or three loyal customers right on the spot within their first hour because they wowed people. So think about that. Most people forget to use some of those other products. So they use those, they book some parties, 
and they were super excited and I thought that's how I started so I want you to know I got my hands on the expos and this was at a, um, a high school just a little um, Christmas fair thing so that's pretty cool right so lots of things that you guys can be doing again action it's not just thinking about it I mean I see a bunch of you with kids in the, your screens those kids are like gold mines. I mean, you should be going to every school function decked out in your It Works bling and then saying, hey, is there an expo that I can do a table at? That'd be great. Yes. So those are just a few, you know, I think of the action steps that we can be doing. Um, I got to find my phone. Let's see if my phone shares. My phone died and I had something on there that I want to share. So um, the other thing is you have to be disciplined. Joel really talks about being disciplined. Um, and with that comes consistency. So if you're disciplined, that means you're very consistent. So, and you may know some of this, but I want you to reiterate that and why we want to post and get out there is average life, life of a post is only a half of a day. Only 16% of your friends will see the post, which is crazy, right? So we want to get some interaction outside of that. And then just when you think you're bothering people, which I know sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm posting so much. That's when they'll see it. So then if you have a post that does really well and it had, what's going to happen is it's going to have cumulative effects on posts that follow. So you guys can even go look at my personal Facebook right now. And I posted like all I want for Christmas. And then they got to tap their little center button to see what's going to happen. And people are doing that and they're commenting. So what's happening is it's shooting that up to Facebook. Like more and more people are going to see it, right? So immediately following that, if you go on my Facebook, you're going to see I have a 90-day So I'm getting that interaction, and I'm posting about a product or about the business opportunity. So you want to do that. If you have this awesome post, that following post is going to have more people see it. Does that kind of make sense to you guys a little bit? It's almost like you're front-loading to get people to interact on your page and then you're backdooring them with uh, it works post. Yeah. You're getting all the interaction and then what happens with Facebook is it sees all the interaction. It's like, well, you've got all this interaction. So I'm sure they want to see your next post. And then you stick it to the Facebook and you're like, ha ha Facebook. Here's my, it works post. And it goes out and then they're all of a sudden like, Oh, what just happened? So I don't know if a lot of you know Joel that well, or if you followed him, Rachel might know him, but um, so consistency is a key. You, you can't become an authority ex expert, stay top of mind without consistency. So we're, I'm going to give you an example, and this is about <coughs> Joel, which is funny. He didn't know that I was going to do this yesterday, but it's true. So the next time you go out and see something Star Wars, there's a good chance you'll think of Joel. Why? Not because Joel posted a couple times about Star Wars. It's not because he copied and pasted a few posts other people posted about Star Wars. You think of him because consistently over time he has posted Star Wars context, related content. So Joel's a huge fan. He's, he loves Star Wars, guys. So um, even when he's not posting about Star Wars, he may have a character in the background or he's wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. If you found that he actually hadn't seen Star Wars, you would immediately all immediately lose all credibility. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. sorry, hold on. Um, this may be a silly example, but think of it in terms of your dream. Are you consistently posting content inside, the, inside of the context you want to be known for? Are you passionate about it? Seriously, do you really love it? Do you incorporate it into your life? Do you use your own product or services and then Consistency in of itself is very exciting, but when you begin to understand the importance of consistency, consistency, the results are super exciting. So do you guys think you know what I do? Am I passionate about it? Do I love to help people? Am I excited? You know, uh, Cindy said this um, over the last couple of days. She had said, remodeling is ugly going through it, but the end result is beautiful. And that kind of stuck out to me a little bit because I thought you all get a clean slate starting today. I want you to kind of think about maybe you need to clean your own house out, right? Maybe your Facebook needs to look a little bit better. Uh, we're going to have be a little bit more consistent with that. Uh, you're going to smile more. You're going to be that happy person that people are just drawn to. And that's what gets it for me. I am not, 
a leader. I did not think this is what I was going to do. Um, I was like, God, this, this is not my thing. I don't know. I'm not. And I don't want to speak that over me because I, I think I am wise because I pray about that a lot now. But I, I always was like, I'm not wise. I don't, I it just didn't, I had a learning disability. Things are really hard for me. But what I know is I'm really good at loving people. And over the, this past weekend, um, I took out of it was um, a, a word, love. And what is love? God is love. And if you all could just love people and come from a place of loving them and helping them and being happy and passionate, even in the darkest of dark, people are going to be drawn to that. So um, that's what I was really excited about is we get to clean house. We get to remodel um, our Facebook, our Instagram story that you have. So that's what I want us all to get really good at. Ignore the ugly. Focus on what you're doing in your 30 minutes, and your business is going to explode. I promise you. It's crazy what we can do when we're laser focused. And, you know, some of us might think, um, I heard this too, which is so awesome. I told you, I was like, I loved, this is probably one of my best, her best statements is, um, what, well, the storm. So, um, where's my, so storms don't last forever. It will move. And I was like, thank you, Jesus, because I'm scared to death of storms. So I did not enjoy storms, but what comes after is beautiful right? We could have that rainbow. There's, there's light ahead of us. So um, if you feel like, gosh, I haven't signed a loyal customer or distributor yet. If you're being consistent, if you're doing those action things, it will happen. I promise you, it's going to happen. Right when you think you're about giving up is about the time something's going to happen. If it's not, if you're just like, God, I really have done all these things, then let's just take a little recheck and really look at, have you really been doing your 30 minute um, focused work on doing all that. Um, and then this is what's great is I, I have always thought like, God, don't trust me. You, you'd love to trust me with so much and, and I really don't want to, but what, uh, for you all that you're on here. So I wrote this, what, what have broken others empowers you. So don't let somebody else do that to you, break you and then give up empower let it be empowering to you right so I, I there was just so many good nuggets from cindy's um i get to and she didn't even talk about it works you guys but it just made such perfect sense all along the way throughout the day um i don't i haven't even read this it's i see that it's breaking up but i think you guys can probably watch back the thing um anyway Rachel, did you have anything that you wanted to ask me? That was a lot of information, I think, guys. Um, but if there's some key things that you just really need to know. That, no, that was, that was amazing. Um, I would love, I, I think from reading some of the questions that people had, like on our team page, I would definitely love to ask a couple of questions. Um, <laughs> one of them is when you guys say somebody's like coming out of nowhere with booking a party, you know, like they've been doing this for a while. Um, where do they start? How, how do they get the ball rolling with parties? Um, Ask. Yeah. So that's the number one thing is most people are like, they're scared. So I think that's why I said, take away rap parties. I think sometimes maybe people are like, Oh, it's one of those rap things again. If that's what you're thinking in your head, people are going to be like, Oh, I don't want to do that. Where they may not even know I've gone to so many of these rap parties lately. They didn't even know there was other products. So that's why I'm calling it a sample party. So excited to be sharing some of my free samples with you. I just need to know how many guests that you're going to have so they can all get free samples as well. And then they're just booking it. So I'm not telling them it's, it works. I'm not telling them really anything. I'm just super excited to share with some of my samples with you guys. And you're just going to love it. Some, you know, sugar scrubs, some lotions, some just really good health products too. Right? So super simple. So you can do that with past distributors. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's some of your friends. Um, and you just want to have a little get together doing it that way. Go into businesses, go into salons. Maybe you can partner with them and say, you know, I'd love to do a little VIP event with, with this salon and some of your clients here. And, and let's do some things like that. Um, 
but go through because I think you all have probably more than 100 friends if you're on Facebook that you can you don't continue on. So you got to go until you get a yes, okay? That's just key on doing this. Again, how, how bad do you want it, right? And I know that there's other people out there doing that. So um, do that. The other thing that I did is I said to me, anybody in my team, and I got to be careful with that because you guys are considered my team, right? Like you're going to be like, hey, I have a party. Can you come do it for me? So I put it out there and said, if you guys can get me in front of your people, I'll come and do the party. So a lot of these aren't personal parties for me, but if you think about this as not about you, right? And you look at your team and you're like, if I did two to three parties a month and had 10,000 BB and it was just me helping my team and creating that momentum, would you guys do it? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's diamond volume right there. Yeah. So, um, again, don't overthink it. Maybe it's you. Maybe you have a few distributors and, and you just reach out and go, if you guys can get me in front of your team, I'm going to come help you and we're going to knock this out of the park. Like, it's just so you'll get it. That's brilliant. Okay. Um, so somebody had asked, how do you get people to come to the parties? But I think you kind of answered that with just offering free samples. And, um, is there anything that you recommend, like say that they book a party with a neighbor? Um, is there something that they can tell their neighbor, like to get people there or, you know, I tell them, you know, just let them know it's about 45 minutes to an hour. They're going to get to sample some amazing products that are new to the area or something. You can just word it however you want, but it's free to just come try and sample the stuff. I think people think, oh gosh, you know, with the wrap parties, maybe they just want to spend $25. So if we can just get them there and they're going to get those free samples, they're going to come. So that's really all I do. And I don't give them a month to book it. I'm like, let's do it next week. I try to give them the date and uh, I can see that I have better turnout during the week, Monday through Thursday for me. Uh, Sundays are okay, but most people want the weekends to their family, right? So I generally try to book parties Monday through Thursday. When they're trying to get away from their families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thursdays are usually probably the best just because people are gonna get paid Thursday, Friday. And they'll stay out if it's a little bit later party, a little bit later, just because maybe they only have one more day of work to go to. And they're like, oh, I can totally do Thursday. Okay. Um, what about talking with uh, potentials? What's kind of your way of sealing the deal? Because I would say that everyone here has had potential distributors. Maybe some people are new and they're trying to sign them right now. Um, how, do you, how do you make it happen? Okay, so I am a phone person. So I'm about jumping out of my seat talking to you guys. I'm probably sitting in your lap right now. So if I can get them on the phone, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. This is such a great time. They know. It's like, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I want to be part of this. So my excitement level that comes through that phone is just, they don't know. I guess I just need to do it. So I don't give them a ton of information. So for me, my strength is, is getting them on the phone. More excitement, less information. Yep. That's exactly how she does it. Information after they're in because it's so overwhelming. And the reason I know this is because, again, I had a learning disability. So if somebody would have thrown all this crazy information at me, I would have been like, I can't do it. I'm just completely being honest because it's just too much for me. So I try to keep it kindergarten level for people and just be like, it's $99, we're gonna get your kit. There's the four wraps, the defining gel. And as soon as I get you in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you print off your steps to success, your customer forms, and your Ruby chart because I'm a visual and I want you to see what we are going to work on together. So I use the our team page. So I try to keep it that simple. If you are a text person, text. If you can show that excitement through the text. Some people, that's how they do it, and that's okay. So understanding what is your strength. If you don't know, ask your upline, ask the person that sponsored you, because we can help kind of guide you in that. I, it's a, I'm usually a pretty good judge on how people do it. So if they're not calling me, I'm like, they're all texting people. They're not talking to me. So I know I can help them that way. Um, right now, you guys are going to do something. You're going to have your list. and You all do if you have potentials. You're going to be like, I just got off the most amazing call zoom 
with an upline. She knows things are coming. You need to do this business. Like huge things are coming and you're going to want to be a part of this. You are not going to want to miss the boat on this. Why not at least try and see if this works for you? Text me your, your email, your address, and your social security number, and your credit card information. We'll put you in right now. So I tell them if I've been messaging, I'm like, let me just quit give you a call. And then she'll give me your text number or her phone number, and then I text, text them. I'm like, okay, well, what's your email and address? And this is in a text or in the inbox. And then they give it to me. So do you think they're almost there? Like, 90% there, right? I got most of their info. So I got them on the phone, and the last two things I need is like, oh my gosh, I'm just so super excited. It's only $99. Again, I'm excited. I probably like Sherry Lynn or something. And I get their credit card, and then I'm like, okay, the last thing that I need is your social security number, and this is because you get paid. You guys are afraid to ask that question, aren't you? Like, that's what I get usually like, well, people don't give me that. I'm like, you guys, yes, they do. Cause I get it in an inbox. I'm like, don't do it on Facebook. Just I'll text, just text me. So, um, yeah, cause that's better. I, I get that information through as much as I can. The last two things I get over the phone or through text is the social and the credit card, but you should all know what's coming, right? We know the beginning of the year, people want to lose weight. They want to make extra money. It's coming. So if you have, you are vision casters and it's coming. Do you want to be here? Like get going. Like I can't tell you enough. Like this is the time that you should be messaging everybody and anybody. Like it's, I'm not kidding. I, I promise you <laughs> I've been doing it so long that I'm not kidding. So, um, yes, people back off when they give, when you get too much information. So if they are asking you questions, then answer them. If they have not asked you a question, do not ask, answer it, okay? Like then we'll go in there, in, into that. So does that kind of help? Yes, that does. And then uh, what we've had actually really high enrollments recently with customers, but our distributor enrollments have been way down. Um, and it seems to flip flop, you know, sometimes it's like high, high, high distributors and lower loyal. So I feel like everyone's doing really good at signing customers, but I just want to give everybody a push to start enrolling like you're talking about because the big boom season is about to happen. And it's so important that we are plugging people into this business and setting them up for success. So, um, if you know, social media is going to be like a big player, obviously in that and like signing distributors and stuff, um, with their friends list, you know, say they've got 400 friends and they make a list of 50 people. What would be your initial message to someone, um, to start the conversation of them joining you in this business? Um, so I'm going to answer this in a second. I want, I want to kind of go over why you're having, more loyal customers and distributors right now. So I did a video too, because this is me. You guys are all gonna get into the mind of a black diamond and why I probably am one. Um, when I heard Christmas cash, I didn't just hear four loyal customers. Customers, they earn $100 and you just earned $100 fast start. If you're a diamond and that person, I enroll a distributor, I'm not even worried about myself, okay? I've never thought about this business as myself. So I enrolled Joel. I'm like, Joel, I'm so excited. You gotta get four customers. I'm gonna help you. Think of mom, sister, friend, whoever. You're gonna get four customers that earn $100. What happens to me? I earned a $100 fast start and I'm diamond, so I earn an extra $80, right? It's 180 and he's happy because he made 100 and I'm like, you got to get your people in right now. Who are those people that we can talk to that want to sign up to be on your team because now they can earn that Christmas cash and plus you're going to earn $100 faster. So what do I do? I go out and help somebody make $100. I'm excited because I got $100. They're excited because they got $100. Steph is excited because she got $80 without having to do anything. So that is probably your mind is just thinking small when it should be like humongous right now. And sometimes it just a click of that aha, like, oh my gosh, I'd never thought of it like that. So always thinking about how you can push that back onto people because it'll come back to you. And it's almost like the free product or something, you know, the hundred dollars, what can I do for them? But it also comes back to you, right? So, um, Offer it. That's another thing is you guys probably aren't offering the distributorship. So I assume even when they want to order that, I'm thinking, God, 
this business has changed my life. I'm also going to offer them the opportunity because that's another thing that you're probably just not doing. Every so. single person you talk to needs to be a distributor. And then when you find out that they're stupid, then they can just be a customer yes, because that's exactly where it's at. You're like, uh, I don't understand what you're I don't understand. You want to be a customer. That doesn't even make sense because people either pay for these products or they get paid to take these products and it makes more sense to get paid to take these products. And then they're like, no, I just want to buy them. You're like, no, okay, that okay, make sense. A customer. So yeah. if, if they revert back, then they're a customer. Um, okay. So what was the question again, Rachel? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, so what would be your uh, first and this initial message to someone who okay. is, like you really want them to join your team? What, what do you write to people? So Cause I want to see enrollments up on our team. I want to see those distributors in my mind. I mean, I'm like you guys, I, I want at least three distributors on board because those fast start bonuses, that's an extra $300 mm -hmm. every single month. And that then compiles. And so it's like, I mean, I will always sign at least three distributors or more because those fast starts are so powerful. So if anybody's struggling to pay their bills or pay for the auto ship, if you are getting those people on board, then you are, you don't have a problem, you know, with paying for the auto ship or paying for your website. Everything is in business. So, Amen. I mean, End of training. Yep. And so for me, you, you guys know you probably have been watching somebody on Facebook or Instagram, or maybe you have a friend or something. So you've made it, made this. I literally tell them, I am so dang excited. I want to help you and I can't get you out of my mind. This is God prompting me that I need to talk to you about this. Are you just open to hear what I have to say? Mm, that's it. That's no, nothing crazy. I don't write them a long book and tell hey, them girl. all these things. Hey, have you tried this crazy rap thing? Have you heard it? I, I don't do that. I, this is me. So I said this at our training yesterday too, is I don't want to give you a script. I want you to be you. What really would you say? And that's really what I would say is I just know you'd be amazing at this because I truly believe we all each have an awesome gift. And we all can rock this, right? So I'm just on it. So in my 30 minutes of focus, I've got my list of who I'm going to be messaging. And maybe it's somebody I've messaged before three, four, five, six times, but are you ready to give it a shot? I know what's coming. This is the time. If you're really ready to go for it, let's get you going. You guys should really know this by now after this Zoom. Like, I got to sign people. She knows something's coming. Like, it's coming. So uh, having excitement emojis, like, I, I just love that. So uh, that's really what I do. And I even text that to people. Like, girl, I know you've been thinking about it. Why not? It's only $99. You're just going to get the product. And what if you make that, that cash right back with the Christmas cash and you make a little extra money through the holidays, right? So um, that's what I, I'm just excited it sounds so silly, but it's just the truth. <laughs> no, it's, and it's, that's so simple. Like that, that, like you, you've turned it on to about them and you're not making it about you. And you're like, Hey, you've been on my heart. And I really think that you'd be amazing at this. And I can't stop thinking about you. I seriously think that you would be incredible. That simple little like sweet message fills their heart up. And then they're like, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> yes. And you guys, I have this, I have friends in the UK that I go. So in my, in my 30, 30 minutes each day, I'm adding new friends constantly. I'm going and commenting, giving them compliments, liking their stuff and making that relationship too along the way. And then I'm, you know, complimenting them going, you know, I've watched you a little bit. I just really think you'd be amazing at this. You know, look at what they do. Are they a makeup artist? Are they a stay at home mom? Do they work in a salon? Are they a teacher? What do they do and compliment how good they are and just, you know, I, I don't message people that I'm like, they are nothing but negative. They're probably not even my friend, really. So um, really, again, you have the ability to remodel your Facebook and Instagram and, and who you talk to. So if I'm out and there's a waitress and she's really terrible, like, uh, I don't know. I might just say maybe she's just really terrible because she needs to get out of it. And there's a glimmer of hope for her that she could do this. Um, but if they're really mean person, I don't want them. I please do not bring me down because I love my bubble. Can, I am you happy. Just, you can just be a customer. <laughs> and I want happy, uplifting people in my life. And I get to choose who I contact. You get to pick who you get to talk to, guys. So make it count, right? 
and, and get to go and go. <laughs> I love that. And I think too, like upping your game, you look at you guys as black diamonds. I mean, someone had to approach you about it. You know what I mean? Like, and you guys are, you know, put together and confident and happy, but those are the kinds of people who you want in your business because those are the people who are going to make it explode. So you have to, you know, I think have enough like fire in you to approach those people that may intimidate you because those people who intimidate you might be your best rock stars on your team. Mm -hmm. you, you know, um, something that, that just kind of clicked for me is even when we, people didn't know what we were going through, you know, going to the churches and just really not struggling so bad. And I think back and it was because I was grateful I had a loving husband. I had a healthy child. We were grateful for what we had. I, I didn't, now it sucked, right? But we always have to be grateful for something. And so I was still attracting people, even as a brand new distributor, because they saw that part of me. They didn't see the broken person inside just waiting for something. So that really look like they're put together on the outside, but they're, they're struggling and they're waiting for you to talk to them about this opportunity. So remember that don't ever, ever think that you shouldn't offer it to someone because it could be your next. It's always in the back of my mind. I don't ever judge anyone because I get angry thinking, why didn't somebody tell this to us a long time ago? <laughs> Um, did you guys just, did you just freeze? No, I'm still here. We're still here. I mean, mannequin challenge. Yeah, we should okay. do that. Well, sometimes it was freezing, but you, overall. Yeah, it was, you guys were freezing on this, but it's okay. We, we have to. Um, okay. So sorry. It might be me, I guess. Um, somebody said, how do we recover from potential distributors that we maybe gave too much information from, but we still really could see them on our team. How do we recover from that? Uh, go sign somebody up different and then come back to them later. You know, I, I think don't overthink it guys. Maybe you gave them the information and just say, you know what? Maybe I gave you a little information overload, but this business is really simple. It's let's just get you signed up. There's a training. We want to work on those four customers and get you going for that Christmas cash. If you told me in three weeks, this just isn't for you. You can stop. So give them an out too. I think um, sometimes we're coming into this thinking we're signing our life away for whatever reason. So I also let them know that there is an out if they want to, but I'm like, but my job is to teach you how to, how to go for it. Right. And how to make some money. So, um, I tell them that lightly knowing that I know that they're going to go make some money and, and love the product. So we know if we can get them in, see the vision, see the heart of the company, um, where we're going, what's coming, um, then you're going to have a good shot. So don't think that you've done anything wrong. Just um, make it a little bit more simple now. Sometimes you have to Jedi mind trick people. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, how do you guys handle um, people quitting? Uh, I know that like most people say, I'm the only one working in my business. Uh, I feel like I'm the only one working and uh, I have a lot of people quitting or whatever. And so what do you, what would, what are kind of your guys' closing words? And um, no, I'm going to go first. Okay. We're both, I'm, I'm, like, I'm going to go first because mine's going to be mean. So she can come back in and love everybody later. Okay. Um, here's the reality about life. 90% of people are quitters. So understand that if you sign up a hundred people, 90 of them are going to quit. Probably now that you know that, do you still want to do this? <laughs> expect it that is what being a business owner and leadership is all about knowing that the numbers are stacked against you and yet you are still going to go out and do it anyways that was kind of nice I, I thought okay, you were a little bit more harsh than that but, ah, um, there. It is true. <laughs> I can sign someone up and the next day they're gone and I'm like where the heck did they go um, it is part of it and the most beautiful thing about this business is I am so focused on where I'm going that when they quit, I don't care. I have people that are still with me, right? So we've got to remember it. The longer that you're in, sometimes the easier it gets because you just know it's part of that. Um, and that's why we want to constantly be bringing in new because I can tell you when I go to a party, 
these new people that I brought in are so hot and fire for it works because they know nothing other than what's coming because that's what I'm casting, right? And so uh, that's why I'm constantly getting in front of new because it fills me up and I'm like, fire, new loyal customer, you know, another distributor. Like, we're just so excited for what's coming. So, um, okay, so uh, knowing it's going to happen and you could cry for a day if it's your friend or something because I've had friends and I'm like, I just don't get it. Or maybe it was even a higher rank, but I know where I'm going. And I felt that over the last couple of days, this is what I was made to accept that right now. You are world changers. You are giving people hope and there is nothing else like this, you guys. Me and Joel have done other things. We have done other companies. This is that people can, are, might come and go, um, and and that's okay because I, I know that they're going to come back because we've done things, and this is the most amazing company. Um, the other thing that I want you to know is think about this for a second. When you go to a salon, do you see maybe new stylists coming and going? Right there, it's a constant. So with this business. Any business is going to have that. They're going to come and they may go. And just accept that, like Joel said, that they're just going to come and they're going to go. But you can't get caught up in the, the people leaving because you know where you're going. You cannot let that hold you back from where you could go. I got to Double Diamond and it all fell apart. And I'm like, well, now what? But I know that with this, I am in business and I work my business every single day. I don't know what else to do. Like I know to do my steps to success. So if you go to your job, you don't get paid. So if I don't go to It Works each day, then I probably don't get paid. So I'm just gonna continue to do what I do. And this is a pretty easy 30 minute job that I that I do, right? And I can do it anywhere. And then Joel has his. So, about mid nineties and uh, 60 minutes was doing a big expose on uh, network marketing. And there was a guy by the name of Bill Britt, who's a multimillionaire and they had him sit down for the interview and they asked him, they're like, Mr. Britt, we, we want to know how you became a multimillionaire in network marketing. And he said, it was very simple. Uh, I spoke to 3000 people out of 3000 people, 300 of them said that they would listen to me. Out of the 300, 100 actually joined me. Out of the 100 that joined me, 30 of them actually did something. Out of the 30 that actually did something, 10 actually stayed with me. Out of the 10 that stayed with me, three made me a millionaire. And they said, oh, that's really interesting. And he goes, and the thing was is that I always focused on the people that stayed. So think about that, 3,000 people only 200, sorry, 2,990 actually went with him. He didn't focus on the 209, 2,990 people that left him. He focused on the 10 that stuck through it with him year after year after year after year. That is what you have to do, and that is how you will become a multimillionaire in network marketing. Now, what's funny is I heard that, and I've heard that for many, many years. So when we actually got inducted into the uh, um, Million Dollar Club, it was one of those things that I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and look through our numbers. And what was really, really freaky is that the numbers were almost the exact same. I was like, wow, that is kind of freaky. So my challenge for you is to stay in long enough to talk to 3,000 people to find your three that take you to Black Diamond. That's it. And it sounds so crazy because you may have people uh, come, but they have had people along the way that have stuck out, you know? So it was like, oh my gosh, where did our personal people go? Why mm -hmm. didn't, why did they stick it out? But we don't worry about that. We just know where we're going and it's good. That, yeah, that, I love what you said too. Cause I mean, it is so much about just a, a couple of people who end up fighting with it, you know, or fighting with this with you and uh, going on the journey with you. And I love that. That's, that's just such wisdom and uh, golden advice for everyone. Um, 
And I think just that secret to the steps to success, learning to find your flow and signing distributors and customers. If you can learn how to do that and never quit and be consistent with it, you will make millions. That's right. You will. <laughs> True. Is there any other last like questions that you that you have? Um that you wanna how do I convince, I'm just throwing this one out, I haven't read it, but how can I convince people to sign with me and sign with this company if I've been a distributor level for 12 months? I did it more as a hobby before, but now I'm ready to give it full throttle. Okay, so I can tell you right now, you're trying to convince someone. So take that word out. You just gotta throw that word out. I do not have to convince anyone. I believe in myself, I believe in this product. You have to believe it. Do you really take a look at yourself? I don't know who said this. I may be looking at you or I'm not. Really, do you believe and fully know where you're going with this? Do you believe in the company? Do you believe in the product? And if not, then let's get you in that, that belief. So how do you do that? Take the product. Really be consistent. You guys are going to hear a lot of the same words. Um, be consistent with that. Again, you're going to break it down. You're 30 minutes a day. You need, to you need to take the action steps, contact people. You're probably not contacting enough people. Um, and give yourself the next 30 days to really have a, a great before and after or transformation of something. And maybe it's you just took greens and you felt really good. So that's what's going to happen is you're going to be like, wow, I was really consistent with my products and I had incredible results and people are going to ask you. So now you're not convincing because they're that you're sharing with them. Um, so I think that's what it comes down to. I am so passionate about it that people are like, she's not convincing me. I, she's just like, I got to do what she's doing. And, and I, very little words come out of my mouth because I'm just like, you guys, I'm just so excited. I know where it, we're going. So you know that you should know from me now that, <laughs> We're coming into the best time of the year. People want to lose weight. They want to feel better about themselves. They want to earn some extra money. So you need to get out your list and really make, make sure you need to do this. Um, reach out to your sponsor to upline. It might be words. It might just be a couple words that you're saying or too much words, and then you'll get it. But you'll be fine now, I think. Yay. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much spending an hour with us and giving I know, us your I feel like I, I could just go on and on but um I could listen I'm sure we could also see like, you listening <laughs> yeah usually we do the 30 minute zooms because after about 25 30 minutes your brain probably goes like this so I recommend you watch us again in the chunks um but really this is the book that I want you guys to go get so it's and you can get it in paper book Hopefully you don't, this is what I'm getting my leaders that are coming next week, but it's probably backwards, but it's the power of the half hour. So I'll send this to you, Rachel. Um, and it's a, it's just such a good book and I've only got into it a little bit already, but this is really what I kind of based, um, what I got from Cindy and then what we took out of our training yesterday. So I'm excited to see you guys blow it up. Um, and take your business to a whole nother level. Ooh, ooh. Um, and I love seeing your beautiful smiling faces. That's what it's about right there, right? And yeah. I'm excited for you guys. So thank you for, for having us on. I am grateful for each and every one of you guys. We love you guys so very much. I hope, I hope you know that. We do. We just are just so grateful for you guys. You know, all of us looked up, up to you so much. And so this was such a big deal for us to get you guys on a Zoom tonight. So we really appreciate your time. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. We'll see you at conference. Can't wait.